Hey guys, Dylan here. So over the past couple of days, we've been playing in the beta of the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World. Yes, that is an overly long name, so we'll not be using the full title in the future. There isn't long left of the beta, I probably should have gotten this video out sooner, but I will leave a link in the description to register. The game has a kind of clunky client and the turn timers are definitely too long, and sometimes they bug and they don't go down at all. Uh, the games themselves are very long and the card acquisition beyond the starter decks, which you do get a ticket for each day, seems incredibly slow. Yet I can't stop wanting to play more of this. Each colour, of which there are currently four, plays differently. Your decisions in game are often very impactful on your win or loss rates, and it's just not like anything I've ever played. The playstyles currently are pretty straightforward, but the game does look like it will become very combo oriented in the future. That is, combinations of cards, rather than the actual mechanic in-game called combo, which happens to also be very important. I don't usually like heavily combo-dependent games, and yet I can't help but be excited about the full release of this game. I've included two games in this. The first game, the dog is kind of going nuts in the background, but it was my first decent game and I wanted to include the footage. There should be timestamps if the dog is too annoying, so you can skip to the second game. We will have another video coming out with a different starter deck, probably tomorrow. Have a good one. Here we go. Dog cam. He probably won't stay there for long. Ooh, Goku Black. Alright, we have... Plenty of twos. Three. Alright, we'll keep this. We don't have a one, but that's fine. Oh, Chewie, it's not that bad, buddy. Alright, where are we? And what are we doing? Um, look at him just sitting there all majestic-like, staring out the window. Okay. Uh, that... What do you do? Add it to one card from your life to your hand. That's draw a card. Add up to one card from your life to your hand, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. So... Did we... We only second, right? So let's use this to charge. And then... Uh, we'll play this. Add a life to our hand. Just this extra card, basically. Um, and do I attack with it? I think I don't. Alright, so... I'm not going to get to play all of these twos. The question is, which one do I sacrifice? Probably the vanilla one. That would make sense. Okay, what have they done? Not much. Also, what does this do? On play, draw one card? Okay. It's um. What I find interesting is that uh, every single faction seems to have effectively exactly the same cards. Just like in terms of the, their core cards, seems to have like exactly the same cards, just like reskinned. Like, as far as I've seen, everyone has a uh, 5,000 combo, 5,000 power, draw one card card. But one. Man, our opponent is thinking for a while. Also, why has he got 20,000 power? Um, I will not activate blocker. Did he combo? Oh, Chewie, what are you standing for now? No defense required. I don't know why his power's high. Oh, he has critical! Shit. Um, this card gets plus 5,000 power. Whoa, this card is way better than ours. <laughs> That's a much better leader than we have. Alright, charge that. Play this. Uh, we can attack. No worries. Did I not attack last turn? I think he may have blocked it. I don't remember. Alright. Are you off, doggo? Hey? Where you going? Oh, just want some pants. Alright, we'll put the webcam back where it was. Uh, because 
He's insisting on moving around a bit, which is quite annoying. Um, that is not my face. Oh, yes, it was. Uh, where are we? Oh, Jesus, doggo. Up uh, to one of your opponent's battle cards with cost three or less. Well. Just going to attack. I'm not. I am going to add life to hand here. Did he sacrifice his trunks to block me before? Because that's a real bad guy move. <laughs> um, I actually might as well attack with this. Alright. And then we'll just chill. We've got our energy card here. Easy peasy. We have 5 billion quees. Vegeta did a terrible job of killing them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards with cost of four or less and place them at the bottom of their owner's deck in any order. Huh? That's good as. Huh. Okay. Uh, hang on, we're not comboing. Just take the damage. Now I can awaken. I don't know what his awakened thing is. Okay. That's that. Flip this guy. Do the flip. Uh, what does he when he awakens? Uh, activate man once per turn. Place one Zamasu from your battle area at the bottom of your deck during this turn the next time you use and play Goku Black from your hand reduce the cost by 2 okay it requires him to have Zamasu and Goku Black in hand hmm interesting alright so I mean the, the plan remains the same play Kui um I'm just gonna attack again Might leave him up. I don't know if it's worth trying to burst him down because we don't want him having the combo stuff, right? But then he could definitely awaken. He goes to 2500 power when he's awakened. But then he goes to 20k anyway, so there's really no reason not to, aside from the fact that our Kui will die. And that doesn't really bother me. Because he draws a card. Let's do that. Ah, right. I forgot about the whole flipping thing. Uh, death is meaningless. Victory is all. I mean, you can't win if you're dead. This game doesn't allow that as far as I've seen. So death has... Is that a... Oh, it's Pan. Draw two cards, then discard two cards from your hand. Oh, this dog is going to be the death of me, man. Literally nothing out there. Literally nothing. Um, I'm not going to activate Blocker. Let's see if they dedicate any cards. I'm kind of considering dedicating some cards. <laughs> Uh, choose your leader or up to one of your battle cards. It gets plus 20,000 power for the battle. Then choose up to one battle card with cost two or less and return it to its owner's hand. Okay. So they're a combo deck. Um, Canine Solidarity. There's no other... Oh, right. Because that's... You, you did the bark. Gotcha. I haven't ever... Wait. Does he actually use Kamehameha in the anime? Also, I need to remember he has critical, so we don't like taking damage from him. He also didn't flip his dude. I should have blocked that, actually. But it's fine. No worries. Also, what level was this person? The fact that he's playing a combo deck on, like, day one 
seems wild to me. Okay, we'll charge. This will be our next charge. Um, it hasn't proven all that useful. Fuck's sake. 9,000? <laughs> That's how many dogs it sounds like there are in my house. Play this. Oh, attack. What a way to talk about your dates. What? Okay. Blocks their hit. No worries. Do that one. At this point, he's probably getting like close to what he needs, right? He's drawn through quite a bit of his deck. Um, did you hit had a, had a bunch of dogs in your house? Right, right. I thought that was the end of my turn for a second. Uh, we use that was their was that their super combo card? Yeah. Alright. Flip these two back up. I now know what he was barking at. Um, he could hear the rubbish men. Did I miss something? I appear to have less dudes than I did. Uh, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with for a less place at the bottom of the deck. Good one. And then he's got double strike. He played a large ladder, made one of yours go away. Right. Oh heck no, you're playing this too now? Everyone's playing this. Was never seen again after striking the dog and the dog ate him all up. The, the, the dog is not going to eat me. Um, he does get very snappy when you try and grab him. Um, when he's having a good old bark. This will be our charge card. And then we have five. So I could play this. Which allows us to play... Wait, hang on. Ah, and then we can... Ah, hang on. That doesn't do what I thought it did. Anyway. I'll use this skill. To play that. Um, and then we should have attacked first before we did literally anything. So, let's make this attack. Let him do his thing. This will be my 100% replacement for dual force. Oh, okay. No matter how hard you try with the peanut butter trick, the dog is wise too. And our dog is dumb as fuck. Um, but I can't say I tried the peanut butter trick. Especially because our dog uses his teeth a lot. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I can't believe you guys said that. All right, I need to. Get, I need to get used to clicking the step in stuff. All right, and then we'll play a guard, which we will not attack with, because I need to. Hang on, hang on. These are both activate main, right? Ah, oh, with a cost of three or less. Right, the death ball's much less useful than I thought it was. That's fine. Wait, hang on, why is this in rest mode? Oh, because I haven't played the card that I'm thinking of. Fucking moron. Alright. So, we'll flip these two back up. I actually didn't need this one flipped, so we should have attacked with that one and then used our thing to flip these two. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm liking the game so far. It's not like Dual Force, though. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether I can be as uh, excited about this every day as I was about Dual Force. I feel like there's way less deck building that you'll be able to do in this. But I could be, could be totally wrong. 
could be totally wrong. It just, um, from one of Willow's video, uh, the Willow has released a new YouTube video for anyone who, um, watched his content in the past. Or even if you didn't, go check it out. Um, where he did a review of some of the red cost cards, if not all of the red cost cards. I, yeah, I don't know how the cards were chosen that he reviewed, but there weren't a lot of cards, and that was like for a whole faction, potentially. Alright, that's 35k. It's 45k. He doesn't, um, we just let that go through, right? Even though we don't get to draw the card. Leaders with critical are so much better than leaders without critical, man. Uh, why does my leader have a rest thing? What? That dude, if you have seven or fewer cards in hand, this card gets plus 15k power. Okay. Okay, there's the thing I need to block. I've gone to 45, so we'll go to 50. Hang on, my guard is gone. Why is my guard gone? I really need to pay attention to what, I have that, what is happening. Is this game any good? It seems pretty good. Um, that's 50. That's 45. Right, but then the problem is I've still got a 3500 thing here. Um, and I need to work out where my dude went. Placed, freezer... Mm. I find it extremely hard to find out what freaking happened, right? So, we did those. They discarded Bulmer. Freezer defended. Uh, there's that. Defense step, place Bulma. Switch to rest mode, so we need to go further back. Uh, Drew Kui from life, that's me. Uh, activate a skill when attacking, draw a card. Was it this one? She's one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of five or less. Right, they must have done this. And I just forgot about it. This feels like a long time ago though. <sighs> anyway, they have two health. What are we going to do about that? They have two cards. Let's attack. Uh, hang on, I need to charge. One moment. Now there's a courier. Right. Dog being a prick. Do that. We'll combo this card. Just make it awkward so I can't just use a 10,000 card. And then... Uh, they take the damage. Interesting. Alright, how much combo do you reckon they have available? Because I could, like, pretty much empty my hand here. This is... Not going to help us. Um, this has to be done during main, so I can't, like, rest their card and then... So I think we have to... play this and then we will attack here and we will use this to boost here and then we should be able to Switch to rest mode if it costs three or less, which this does. And we'll just make that attack. So they add... They use their super combo. Cool, they've got two cards left in hand. So, we will use this skill. Choose out to one of your opponent's rest mode things with cost of three or less. So we'll kill this so they can't use the combo points. And then we attack here and we combo, combo, combo and uh, hope they can't defend 5,000. 
Here we go. <sighs> Rank, do you think? Because I want to get to silver for the uh, for the coins. It's our first Broly. It's time to find out how good they are. I switch this card to rest mode. Look, the top one card. That's right. That card was great. This card was not so great. I think we are happy to keep this. So what do you do? Um, we're going to take and draw a card. That's pretty standy. Uh, once per turn, place one of your energy in your drop. Draw one card. Then this card, place one of your energy in your drop. Ah, so interesting. So he has to like replay his energy. Oh, he's 25k when he's um awakened though. That's pretty crazy. Uh, when your life is at four or less, add one card from your life to energy. Gotcha. Um, it does count for dailies, right? Oh, hang on, yeah. Ah, oh, Chewy. You guys are going to have to put up with the dog for a bit while the truck finishes doing its job. Well, not the truck. Well, yes, the truck, but more importantly, the people manning the truck. Uh, there's a card that you can pull from packs. That's a Goku where we, when you pay an energy, it replaces itself. <gasps> it's going. We're going. Okay. Uh, we pay an energy and it replaces itself. My in-game ID. Is my in-game ID not just Combat Panda? I will need to check that at some point. Uh, are we first? No. We are second. What are you? Moa. On play, look at five cards. Reel up to one Paragus. Hmm. Uh, Paragus is uh, Broly's dad, right? Why is there always random bitches um, on Facebook that idea? Like, hello, you're obviously a fake account, please leave. So let's use this to charge. And then we'll play this. And then we will not activate. Look at the size of Broly, man. He's huge. It's a series of numbers. That's so lame. <laughs> just saying. Um, we're not going to use a skill. Because I don't want to pull this out just yet. Um, because that's non-play effect, so it doesn't even matter. So we'll just attack. Will we just attack? We'll just attack. Should have probably attacked with my leader first, because card draw first. Okay, his turn timer actually seems to be moving now, which is relevant. What does this do again? It's, it's not that I forget what the cards do so much that... I still feel like they look very similar. The Golden Death Beam and the Golden Death Ball. I think maybe it's just Death Balls, the other one. I don't know. It definitely has Death in it. Oh, see, this probably would have been much better to play um, than this Freezer. This could have drawn a card in a life title. Um, Mage Armor in the house. How you going, man? Also, going back to the Goku that's in green. Um, somebody came in before and talked about how it was busted and just messes with the whole game. Not the whole game, but effectively it is not good for trying to play against it. Um, there's no neutral cards in this, are there? Like, they literally all have a color identity. All right. Uh, we take that. See our opponent doing the correct thing and drawing before they do other actions. I'm a little surprised he didn't kill my um, freezer, though. All right, because now we get to dump shit for free. Um, ah, there we go. That's maybe why. Uh, if your leader is brawling, you have no Shamoyan battle cards. Play up to one Shamoyan with a cost of one. That is not a Shamoyan. Interesting. Oh, they're just going face again. H have at me. Okay, no worries. Um, I'm not sure why I'm committing to energy this turn is the problem. Uh, that is card draw, and we like card draw. Ah, uh, that's power. Plus allows to pull from our life. Is it... Are we too far away from 4 and 3 to worry about these? I might... I don't know. I feel like these are important. If he's going to go to 25 power when he awakens. But then... I want to play that. No, I don't. We'll charge with the quick. 
All right, we're gonna use this skill um, to play this. Nice. We'll attack that. Won't bother committing anything. Uh, I like the deck construction for this game quite a bit. As in the interface or the deep building complexity? Yeah, I want to know the answer to that. The openness and how colours work. How do you mean by openness? Like, do you mean just it seems very apparent what you should be putting together because of the tribal thing? What was I playing again? This. Play Kui. Ah, uh, not Kui. Whatever his name is. Use his skill. Let's see if we can grab... Freezer's army. Fantastic. And in turn. So what are we at? Nine cards? Nine cards feels like a good number of cards. Um, I guess the question is, what am I committing to energy next turn? Um, we have double Zarbon, which I don't think we need... We might not even need one Zarbon at this rate, although they are blockers. So anyway, we'll take that damage. A real intent on face, eh? Like, I'm kind of wondering what is in their hands that they're just like, must go face. Next to the number, kind of hint that there will be multicolor leaders eventually, which will really shake things up. Ah! The pips. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Um, also, the fact that this, uh, this was something I'm pulling straight from Willow's video. The fact that there's five pips and there's only four leaders. Um, there's a Shimoyan. Uh, so, committing to energy. Be that. And then we will skill. Actually, do I want to skill? Or do I just want to jam a three cost? Um, this one definitely skills. Grab us Freezer's army, unless it's an extra. Nice. Because I can, like, tap this and then kill it. Uh, we could also... Hang on. Play this. Oh, do you know what we haven't done? Is drawn. But that's fine. So make that hit. And we'll add one left hand so we can evolve this. Uh, that's the card we're switching to rest mode. And then we'll be able to death ball it. Although, honestly, it's not really much of a threat, is it? Um, like, see how your King Cold has two yellow pips? It implies that you need to pay at least two. Oh, right, yes. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, I mentioned that bit as well. Um, I just totally forgot. Thank you for reminding me. Did he take the damage? I feel like he took the damage. We're just going to keep dealing damage. I actually shouldn't have done that. Shivani attacked with one. And then flipped out dude. It's fine, right? Alright. Um, and then we're not going to attack just yet. Because I don't want to attack it and then for him to flip during his defense phase. So I'm just going to kill this blocker. Even though I could have done it with this card. And then... End turn with our 13 cards. I still haven't found a um, limit. A hand limit. But I'm sure we will find it eventually. Uh, you can also kill the rest mode. Yeah. Yeah. I've um... This game has required enough attention of me that I've actually been focusing on the game during my turn, which is not something I pretty much ever did in anything. How they're monetizing for the game and what card acquisition, acquisition will be like. Acquisition seems slow-ish at the moment, but it's just kind of one of those things where you play more, you get more. Um, that deck construction, while there are archetypes with synergy, it still feels pretty open to play your own version. Ah, right. I don't have enough cards to comment on that, I don't think. Look, he's so big, it doesn't even fit on the screen, man. We'll just close his energy so we can see him. He's ugly. Alright. So now's the bit. 
we see if we can uh, see if we can win. Why has he got 5,000 power? Ah, oh, because he removed something from his energy, which seems wasteful. Dragon Ball doesn't have a hand limit. Oh, man. I mean, I just take this hit, right? He doesn't do anything else. Nah. This man just threw an energy out to boost his attack. I'll oh, just take the hit. I have so many cards. So many cards. All right, so we'll use the draw one to um, boost our energy. Actually, he still has five. What do you do? Just a 30? He's going to attack me too. How have I drawn all of this and I don't have a super defense? It doesn't have critical. Nah, it's literally just vanilla. All right, this one? I should probably check what it is first. All right, we're going to use this now. I'm not going to have any spear energy for probably a couple turns. Let's do that. And then exhaust that. Uh, which we'll just kill off. Um, I believe crafting is coming later. Ah, good, 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 good. It looks like it's just card packs, no crafting system in this beta, but the card pack drop percentage seems quite generous with multiple rares a pack. Ah, okay, that's good. Sorry to my opponent, I forgot to hit step end there. <laughs> oh, I might just keep playing Freezer just for the fucking laugh when he blocks something. Okay. Um, what is my, what am I using to charge? I did have a super block. I just couldn't see it. Uh, we can use this to charge. Because I no longer want to draw from my life. And then this only kills a three or less. So that's not worth using. So I think I was going to use the drawing one. Whoopsie. What was... Hang on. And our energy. He only had 500 combo power as well. This doesn't really change anything. Um. Well, hang on. How many cards has he got in hand? Eight. Okay. Well, I'm just going to attack this. Not commit any stuffs okay that's fine I probably should have drawn first what do we got one super block in hand we've got multiple thousand powers on top of it so do I really care about that 500 damage I don't think I do <gasps> whoops except that I have to commit fuck him having 2500 power is insane. I pulled like two Beerus leaders and one cooler within 10 packs. Nice. Um, yeah, his power level is actually technically quite insane. Okay, combos. He's on six cards. Takes no damage. No worries. Like, my board's so shit compared to him. So I guess we'll just use the skill to keep drawing. Oh, there's the golden freezer. Love to see it. Yeah. Maybe I do commit one more attack. Because, I mean, at this point, I don't really care if um, it kills a lot of the stuff. But this card doesn't do what I thought it did. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, and then we'll commit this Zarbon. Potentially force him to commit something. One of the early leaders that doesn't having attacking draw. Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, yeah, of course. Join playing a Goku Black deck. Feels controlly. Goku Black is so gross. We versed one before. And I was like, why does he have critical? <laughs> because he also draws a card. So he just is better than a lot of other leaders, right? He's got a combo effect. He's got critical. And he still draws a card when he attacks. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe he doesn't. I'm sure he was still drawing. Um, what are they thinking about? They've already committed the combo. Come on now, sir. Oh, don't tell me the... Is the turn timer stuck again? Oh, we'll put our mouse there. See if it moves. There we go. Yeah, I think some of these things are just connection issues. He loses crit when he awakens. Ah. Oh. And I guess we... End again. Yep, there's nothing... Nothing I want to use the freezer for. Uh, do those two. This one's good to have in rest mode because it encourages him to try and attack and then I was going to say then I can bait combo cards and then I remembered he has his own 
30,000 power on the board. Could be a problem for us. But I mean, even if he goes this way, we can always commit more cards than him. Well, pretty much always. Imagine if I ran out of cards this game. All right, so place one of your energy in your drop. All right, so his max energy goes down. Yeah, it's, it kind of amazes me he has any cards left. If I take this damage, I'm gonna take this damage. He can't afford to play his double strike unit, if he even has it. Uh, pretty much the starter leaders, base form has draw and attack, and the portable leaders for the most part have no draw attack, but have crit instead. Ah, oh, okay. And then they're gonna make this attack. And I don't know what green does, but I'm assuming they can't do anything else that directly affects us. So if they're gonna let my dude come back up, I might just take the damage. All right, and then we play our double double crit dude, and then we have like all of the power in the world. So I have to commit two cards, otherwise. I've just remembered that I have to commit multiple things to kill him. Oh, okay. You have critical. If you have six or more energy, this card gets plus 5,000 power. Interesting. Well, we'll be blocking that. Ah, oh, it's at 25k. That's so awkward. Uh, let's just do it from the board, because I'm not using this for anything else. 30 is bigger than 25. Last time I checked, but I have always been bad at math. <laughs> okay. Charge with that. Uh, is it too early to get this out? So what can I do instead? Also, that's a three, so we can um, death ball it. So what energy are we at? Yeah, so we won't play our five here. I should have read that to confirm it was the card I thought it was. Alright, that's that. You can attack this chap and we'll commit um, probably not that. We'll commit a thousand. Hang on, do we have any 500s? We'll commit 500. I mean, 5,000. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I'm never going to get used to the thing, I swear. Cool. He has four cards. Hang on. Can he do his, his ability once per turn, activate main once per turn, any turn? But regardless, that's not how he did it. So we'll attack here. See how that goes. And I might drop a King Cold, to be honest. Yo, especially because... No, never mind. They let us kill the thing. That makes me worried about what they're doing. I'm still going to play the King Cold. All right. Attack there. I've got potentially one energy to spend. Um, I like all the... I got used to the J... Wait. Oh, my God. There's been so much talking. Uh, don't hate me, but since I've always watched the shows in English dubs, the voices in this game are jarring. <laughs> um, I gotta say, the voices got me all out of whack. I got used to the Japanese voices only because Dragon Ball Super didn't have an English dub while it was first airing, and no way I was waiting. Yeah, so same for me, basically. And then... Oh, hang on. Use his skill. Yay, a Mecha Freezer. Who came too late? We could have played this for free. All right, bring that and that back up. Um, I like all the JP voices other than Goku, but he grew on me eventually. Yeah, Goku's very high pitched. It, it doesn't really help that a lot of their stuff in here they like are screaming, <laughs> so you have to get used to like you know Goku screaming Kamehameha. It's not just getting you just used to Goku's voice in general. It's getting used to Goku screaming Kamehameha in a very high-pitched voice. All right. That is just that. It doesn't really matter what it is. I could activate Blocker. That is correct. But I will not. I will instead see if they, they don't combo. Got a 30k. Can't wait to play against me. 
Um, well, the question is, when the game officially launches, so after the beta, will it be spread into servers? Because if that's the case, there shall be no playing against me. Because I'll be all on my own in Oceania. It'll just be me and all the Japanese people. Um, who's attacking here? This dude. Uh, for 3k. So, won't be blocking. For 3k is very annoying. So we'll super block. Which is overkill, but, you know, gotta do what you do. When there's a big fucking green giant. Trying to get it all up on your purple bits. Uh, the game should be dropping next month. Yeah. Right, there's Paragus. Add up to one card from your life to your hand. Interesting. Your leader is Broly. You have no Shimoyan battle cards. Play up to one Shimoyan with a cost of one. Hang on. This doesn't... This has 15k of pack attack power. That is less than 20k. And he didn't add any. He was trying to bait out my blocker, I reckon. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I nearly got the nearly got the timing down. Okay, there's that little fucker. Okay, Kui might be useful. Do we commit? Do we commit? Do we commit? I feel like all the cards that I would probably want to commit have already been committed. Do we use? Fuck it. He could be energy. Uh, so our first attack, he's got three cards. First attack will be here. No, it won't. Our first attack will be here. Which then allows us to uh, rest that. And then we'll chuck some little buffies on him. Some little buffies. I don't know what to commit, to be honest. Because I've only got thousands left. And it feels wasteful. But at least he needs to commit more than 5,000. <laughs> the, I'm, I'm laughing at your, oh, 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 oh. But it's, but I, I got it. All right, what are they up to? See, the turn time still seems quite high, but I think that's when they went fast through their turns. So I think you gain additional turn time every turn. So if you use all of your turn time in an early turn, it's not going to affect your turn time, say, late in the game as much, but it's still going to be a chunk off. This is based off of one observation, so that could be totally wrong. Wait, hang on, is their turn time not going down again? Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, they are down to two cards. Now, what is the most defense you can get with two cards? I feel like it's 40k. So let's say he gets 45k. So if we do this... And attack. So 45k means uh, on top of his 25. Um, on top of his 25 is 70k. So we're at 35. 45. 55. 65. He shouldn't be able to block that. In theory. If he does, we just kind of ream him with leftover stuff. <laughs> this man did not totally rope me out here. I will be Sag. Oh. Okay, one of his cards was Gigantic Meteor, which is plus 15k, then your first six more. What? He gained 25k from that one card. Wait, that's still only 70. Brother, at 70 versus 75, you're done, Zos. He still tended to be gained way more than I expected him to. I dislike Freezer's victory and defeat. 